What's going on guys? It's time for some Philip Brooks Road to Glory, a series I haven't worked on in a very long time, but here we are. We are at 5-1 and one with a loss in our last game against LSU, a team that we've struggled with a lot in this series. But here we go, Philip Brooks and the Gators playing against Arkansas, and there's a pass to the receiver. He's got some speed. He picks up a lot of yards after the catch, getting into Razorback territory. But we'll go to 3rd and 12, now looking for a conversion, and Brooks looks to the end zone, and he throws an interception. He hasn't thrown as many this year. He's corrected that mistake, but there is a big one there in the opening drive and we'll go back into their next possession. Still no score, and Brooks takes off. He picks up a block from his receiver, and he gets to about midfield. That drive will lead to a rushing touchdown, and then we'll go into their next possession of the 7-7 game. A screen pass out right to the running back. Great blocking ahead of him, and he gets a first down. And these Florida players are just so fast that most of our yards come after the catch. So we'll go first and 10, going up top to the receiver. He's going to catch that ball at the one yard line. And now first and goal, looking right. There's a quick pass for a touchdown. Gators retake the lead 14 to 7. And now we skip ahead to the fourth quarter. Defense is playing well. And now Brooks taking a shot, letting his receiver make the play. And he does. Great throw and catch. They're deep in Razorback territory now with still a seven-point lead. And Brooks play action. He's going to take off and run something he does very well. He's going to slide, not take the chance at about the two-yard line. They would punch that in, but Arkansas would answer back. So we'll go third and one. Brooks steps up. Maybe could have run that for a first down, but he finds his receiver anyways. And that would finish off the game. Brooks goes 9 for 14 with over 200 yards passing. Moved to 6 and 1 on the year and now they have the Georgia Bulldogs at home. Another big important SEC matchup and Brooks under pressure right away. Georgia's defensive line getting to him early. It will go 3rd and 13 on the same possession and there's a quick pass to the tight end and he gets around the defenders and he is off to the races. He has a lot of speed and he's one of Phillip Brooks' favorite targets. We'll go later, third and 11, Georgia would answer back, and a quick pass out right to his tight end once again. He gets around number 47, and he picks up another first down. And Brooks to pass once again, he's gonna take off and he's going to pick up a first down. He's just so fast, so quick, he's able to get by the defenders very easily. And now second and five, and back to his tight end. He throws it. That'll be another first down, and that will lead to another rushing touchdown, but Georgia would once again answer. And they bring the pressure and put Brooks down again. So first and ten, and he's going to take off, and there's just no running room. So Georgia playing good defense against Brooks, and will go later, second and 11, and Brooks rolling to his right, and he finds his receiver coming across the field. Great catch, it absorbed the big hit. And now third and eight, Brooks is gonna take off. He's got a man chasing him, and he is going to get to the one yard line, and they would punch that one in as well. Now second and 13, Brooks with some nifty running moves, and he's gonna pick up a first down into Georgia territory. And first down again, Brooks is gonna pass it deep on the right side, and he finds his man, a great throw and catch, taken down, and now we got third and goal. Brooks trying to take off, not a lot of room, and they bottle him up before he can get to the goal line, so they have to kick a field goal, and Georgia would answer with one of their own. And now Brooks just finds his open man. We are in the fourth quarter, Florida trying to kill some clock, and he's gonna take this all the way. It's just a simple route, just a simple out, and he takes it to the house. Great speed, really helping out Phillip Brooks in this offense. Third and five later in the game after Georgia answered once again and another first down. Brooks having a good day passing and a lot of passing yards because of the yards after catch from his receivers and tight end. Now first and ten, and they're not even trying to pressure him, they just don't want him to run. He does anyways, doesn't pick up the first down on this play, will go forward, third and four, Brooks throws an interception on the right side, try to hit his receiver crossing, but he delivers a big hit, and Florida recovers, that means Florida has a first down, they can kill the rest of the clock, scary there at the end of the game, but Brooks laid the hit that got them the victory. So they moved to 7-1, that's all that matters, and now they got Vanderbilt, and they came out to a 10-0 early lead, and Brooks trying to roll to his right, that is complete on the right side for a first down. So they extend this drive, but they got third and five now, Brooks good protection looking right side, and his receiver catches it, but he is out of bounds. So that drive is over, and Vanderbilt scores another touchdown, and they're up 17-0. Brooks and the Gators have to get it together. There's a first down to the tight end. They get into Commodore territory, 
and first down. Good protection for Brooks, and he's going to take off, pick up the first down himself, and they extend the chains. So they need to get touchdowns. We're in the second quarter, second and five, under pressure. Brooks just steps up, avoids the defenders, and makes it look so easy. He's just so quick. And we'll go ahead now to third and goal. Man in motion. Brooks takes a snap under pressure, but he finds his man outside. That's a touchdown. First score for the Gators today, but they're down by 10 still. And after forcing a turnover to open the second half, Brooks is going to take off on third and five, get a big play on the ground. Tackled inside of the five-yard line, and they would punch this in, and it's only a three-point game now. We'll go towards the end of the third quarter, and Brooks taking a shot. His man has a step, and he comes down with a grab, pushed out of bounds. But that was a complete pass. Now they got first and goal, looking to take this lead. Brooks rolling out to his right, and he just maneuvers around the defender, and he turns up field and gets the touchdown. The Gators take the lead. Commodores are stunned. And now Brooks fakes the handoff and now goes deep again. Look at all those defenders just following him. They're just so fast here in Florida. Another touchdown, 28 unanswered points, and four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, and Brooks is just manipulating this defense easily, runs the ball here, and Vanderbilt would actually have a drive that took up most of the fourth quarter, and this game would end 28-17. So that will conclude this episode of the Philip Brooks series. The Gators are now 8-1 and one and have three regular season games left against South Carolina, Notre Dame, and Florida State. So thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you guys next time.